first question will be Irish Rafael from Warchamp. Hey, Jermaine, congratulations. Thank you, Ira. Uh, and did you, when you made the decision to, to transfer, did you ever have any kind of thoughts about what was possible? And if you did, does this exceed even that? Uh, to be quite honest, I just, I just, my main worry was coming in and being that guy that I promised I'd be for Coach Norvell. Um, to be quite honest, uh, he he's, he was looking for a number of things in, in a in a guy, you know, a leader, you know, obviously get it done on the field, but most importantly, just selfless and and, and setting a standard. So that was really all my focus was on. Um, I knew if I just kept putting the team first, everything else would fall in line. So. Um, you know, I knew God had my back as he always does. So, you know, he's not going to forsake me if, if I'm if I'm doing things in a righteous way. Next will be Matt Marshall from the Orlando Central. Jermaine, what does this say, like, in a sense, for the, the future of the Florida State program to, to showcase what you were able to do this year, maybe to kind of and entice some younger players to come up and, and step up and maybe try to try to kind of emulate what you've done this year as well. I mean, I, I don't know if it's just about me. I mean, the team as a whole, like we, I feel like we covered so much ground this this year, this past year in the off season and everything. I mean, all those nail biting games, it, it could have flipped either way, you know, and and our record could have you know done a, a one eighty. It could it could have been definitely the other way around with just a couple losses, maybe one loss. Um, so, I mean, I think that, I mean, everyone in the locker room, this program knows, like, okay, you know, we, we, we are definitely capable of winning all of those games. You know what I'm saying? So I think, you know, as a whole, and, you know, not just me, I, I just happen to play well on Saturdays. You know, it's, it's bigger than that. The, the mindset, the standard of the team is, is set. So, you know, we'll, we'll be good long after I'm gone. I'm, I'm positive of that. Hey, Jermaine, congratulations. Um, just wanted to ask you, just uh, if you could, um, what do you, as you go to take the next step now, what do you think just about, you know, the culture that's being built within the program and just what do you think are the next steps you, that you see need to happen so the program can take, you know, that next step to elevate itself to where it wants to be? I mean, we're, we're definitely, like I said, we're in a good, good spot right now. Um, I think as a program, we understand that hard work, you know, works. There's there's no way around it, you know what I'm saying? Just doing the dirty hard work in the dark when no one's watching. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to be selfless? Are you willing to put the team first? And I think all those guys are, and, and that's going to come to fruition, you know, this next season. We got a long, you know, those guys got a long, you know, off season ahead of them. But I think coming into this off season, we know what we can be. Um, and I think those guys will put the pieces together uh, to, to be that, you know. So, I mean, I'm just extremely happy to be a part of that locker room. And, you know, I'm extremely happy to see what, what this becomes. Next will be Andrea Adelson from ESPN. Jermaine, what kind of a role do you feel like you played in all of that you just discussed? And what do you feel will be your lasting mark on this team and program? Uh, I'm not really sure about my role, but, I mean, like I tell Coach Norvell and you know, Coach Fuller, just use me. I'm here. I'm available. Um, that was my biggest thing, being available in any way I could. Just use me. What, what do you need me to do on the field, off the field? I'm here. Um, so, I mean, I think everybody's got that mindset, being available. You know, what, what can I do to make the team better? You know, is it a different position? Do I have to do this different? You know, am I, am I able to be self-aware, understand that I'm not doing this right to be able to get on the field? Am I willing to fix it? So, I mean, I think all those characteristics are, are what the guys have in the locker room right now. It's... I feel very good about that locker room. Like we we never we never batted an eye when we were down in a game. We we fought to the end. Like I said earlier, we could have flipped the other way in in, in most of those games. So um, I'm very happy and and, and uh, content with where the team is at right now because I know they're going to take it to the next level, regardless if I'm here or not. Congratulations, Jermaine. Um, it just seems like your game clicked from the very start of the season and was consistent then throughout. What was it that allowed you to gel so quickly 
and, and be so consistent throughout the season about this program or just in general? What was it that allowed you to be so successful? Honestly, um, playing for something bigger than myself. Uh, like I said, I'm passionate about the people who are passionate about me and, and this program and my teammates and the staff is, have and the fans, really. They, they've all just been supportive and passionate and loyal to me and, and shown me nothing but love. So, of course, I'm going to go out there and game day and lay it all on the line because it's bigger than me. You know, I'm not – I didn't just come here and say, you know what, I'm going to get my film and I'm going to get out and do it. No. Uh, it was bigger than that. That's part of why I came to Florida State, um, to be part of a change. And and um, hopefully I did that. And, and um, that's, that's just why I played so passionately, because uh, I care so much I care so much about Florida State and, and the people involved with it. You know, you said before that you, know, you still consider your old teammates in Georgia to be your brothers as well, and you support them. How are they towards you when you when you left? And have you heard encouragement or anything from them since you've gotten these accolades? Yeah, I mean, those guys are still my brothers. Obviously, they're sad to hear me go. Um, they understood. Um, they understood very much why I was leaving, and um, they supported me, you know, wholeheartedly. And, and they still do to this day. I mean, you know, they're blowing up my phone as we speak. Um, we, we FaceTime all the time. You know, I was just. I was just on the phone with Zamir and, you know, talking to the whole locker room. So those are still my brothers and we're very close. And, um, you know, as much as they support me, I support them right back as long with that as well uh, with that program as a whole. You know, those guys are doing a great job over there, as I knew they would. Uh, you know, it's not easy over there. So, you know, I'm proud of them and, and, they're, do and they're doing what they need to do. I mean, this this to me kind of shows, OK, how mature are you? You know what I'm saying? You don't have anyone breathing down your neck to be somewhere. You know, how do you conduct yourself? Um, and those are those are things that my journey has prepared me for. So, you know, I'm just going to stay grounded, take care of my body, um, you know, knock knock down what we have to knock down and uh, be prepared, you know, to, to perform on, on whatever event I have next. So uh, to me, it's just about you know, staying grounded, keep staying out the way, and um, being mature in all my decisions. All right. Next will be Chris Lee from Mills 247. On that subject, Jermaine, I think you were invited to the Senior Bowl. Do you plan to participate, and have you made that decision? And if so, if you are going to participate, what do you hope to show on that platform? It's day to day right now. Um, me and my team are still talking about it. Um, but, you know, if I do go, then obviously I'm going to compete just like. I compete in everything else I do. I'm a competitive man, so um, yeah, that, that's just what I plan to do. If I go, just compete, you know, just go out there and show, you know, I'm Jermaine Johnson, and you know, that's kind of all all I ever want to be. Jermaine Johnson, be my best, and and um, whoever likes it, they like it. Whoever don't, then it's all good with me either way. I'm me. Do you, do you remember the, the, the pitch that, that Mike Norvell gave you, you know, when you were when you were coming here? I mean, do you, and what stands out to you now that you've gone through this whole season and you stand where you are right now? Uh, yeah, uh, it's pretty much, all right, well, we can give you what you want, uh, but I need you to do this, you know, for the team. I need you to be that. I need you to, to, to act this way. Um, just be yourself, really. That's all he says, just be you. You don't have to do anything else but come here and be you. You know, I've talked to enough people. I've done background checks. I know what kind of person you are. I just need you here to be yourself and, and be what I think you can be. That's all he really what he said. And, and from that, you know, for a guy that I didn't really know, uh, to have that kind of belief in me as a player and a person um, and give me the opportunity that I wanted and trust me not to take advantage of it and trust me to handle that position with care. Um, I mean, that's all it really was. It was just an exchange. It was a perfect fit for both sides. and. You know, I couldn't be more thankful for Coach Norvell. And, um, you know, it's kind of funny because he kept blowing my phone up at the beginning of the process. And I was like, I ain't going to Florida State. I ain't going to Florida State. You know, and then I finally answered. And then, you know, we, we, we shared a long conversation. And, and um, Florida State 
ended up becoming the perfect spot for me, and uh, it'll always be my home, and I'll always be a Seminole. Jermaine, uh, congratulations. Uh, you said you were a guy looking for a home the last year, and Florida State ended up being a perfect home for you. You know, what would you say to other transfers and recruits? You know, considering Florida State as the destination right now. Uh, I mean, obviously, if they're if they want you here as a transfer, you're going to come in and play. Um, that doesn't mean you don't have to work because I definitely worked my butt off. Uh, you know, I did more than I had to do, and uh, you know that's what it takes. So. It's definitely not just a plug and play. You ain't got to worry about nothing because you definitely got to come in here and earn the respect of the locker room and of the coaches. So uh, just come in, you know, work your butt off, be who you are, bet on yourself. And, um, you know, if they do bless you with the opportunity, you know, to come here and play, you know, you wear, you wear that Florida State Seminole uh, patch with, with, with a ton of honor. And, you know, you play, you play with pride in having that on your chest and that spear on your helmet because now that I look back, that – that, that spear in my helmet means more than anything. And, um, you know, it's kind of sad. I won't be able to uh, put it back on and suit up, you know, in the garnet and gold. But uh, I guess what I'd say to transfers is, you know, if you come here, don't view it as just a trampoline to where you want to go. You know, it, it's a really special opportunity. It's a university unlike any other, and the fans are unlike any other. Um, it's really a special place, and if you do come here, you know, this is your home, and you treat it as such. Hey, man, the, the last thing I just was more like a housekeeping thing. Do you know where you're going to train um, for the draft and, and, like, what your next steps are going to be there? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, I'm going to fly out to a, a few different places, you know, get a feel for it, and, and then decide off of that. But, uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly where yet. Else for Jermaine. All right. Thanks, Jermaine. Yeah, thank you guys.